Hello, in this video I'm going to revisit this problem. I, I do solve it in another video, but here I wanted to solve it algebraically. A student showed me this and I thought it was really helpful. So you have to factor this thing right here. And um, my first instinct was to try to combine the n squared terms, but what, I, we, what we notice, what my students notice, I should say, is that if you write this thing out, it's already set up to be factored nicely by grouping. So here's what I mean. So if you look at this, and I'm just going to rewrite it, minus 12n squared plus 108, and then you look at it, you might notice that you have potentially three binomials that could be factored by grouping. And if you start doing that, in the first one you factor out n squared, and what's left over is n squared minus 9. What you'll find is that in each binomial you can factor something out so that what remains is n squared minus 9. So in the next one, even if you don't recognize that, if you try factoring out 4n, which is the lot largest common factor, what's left is n squared minus 9, right? 4n times n squared is 4n squared, 4n cubed, and 4n times negative 9 is negative 36n. In the last one, I'm going to factor out um, negative 12. And if I do that, sorry, not negative 12. Yes, negative 12. If I factor out negative 12, what's left over is n squared plus 9 again. n squared minus 9. Oh boy. And I confuse that because here, negative 12 times n squared is negative 12 n squared. And negative 12 times negative 9 is positive 108. And the nice thing about this then is that you have this trinomial here. And what you can do is factor out the binomial n squared minus 9. So we factor that out. And then in each case, what's left over is the first term, n squared, second term, 4n, and third term, negative 12, of a trinomial. And at this point, you're basically done. Here's some old work down here. I'll clear this off. What you can now do is factor the difference of squares. So in this part, we have n squared minus 9. That factors to um, n minus 3 times n plus 3. And then we have a trinomial that factors nicely. We need two factors that multiply to negative 12, but add to positive 4. So we can multiply n plus 6 by n minus 2. And that gets us choice 2 here. Now choice 1 is also equivalent. It's just that they didn't factor out n squared minus 9. So one of my students also inferred that, well, if they're giving the same answer twice and one of them is reduced, or I should say simplified, then if it's the simplified version of the first one, then that's probably the answer as well. So you can infer that maybe this choice is the answer. All right, I hope this helped.